Welcome back to another episode of Who the Fuck? It's the show that aims to take a deep dive in some of the acts announced running in Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Tiffany Calver. She's a DJ from London. If you've never heard of her before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, Who the Fuck is Tiffany Calver? Tiffany Calver, also known as Tiffany Calver, was born in Telford, but now resides in London. She's a hip hop and rap DJ, specializing mainly in uh, the American sound, but also does feature quite a lot of uh, UK artists. She reminds me a lot of the other kind of um, rap show DJs, people like Kenny Allstar, Charlie Sloth, Tim Westwood, and DJ Target. She might be the current host of the current rap show, but actually, she started her career writing for SBTV and Hypebeast. Initially she started DJing as a hobby, just doing like on free software, uploading to SoundCloud. But this caught the attention of Radar Radio, who would give her a slot. I would even go to do a mix for Drake's Beats One radio show, I believe the first woman to do so. She would also be the first woman to get a rap show on KISS FM, which is a huge achievement. And following the firing of Charlie Sloth last year from the BBC, she's taken over the One Extra and Radio One rap show, following the footsteps of both Charlie Sloth and Tim Westwood. When I was a kid, Tim Westwood's rap show was um, both the most ridiculous and amazing thing to listen to. It was incredible. She's also a pretty hench tour DJ. She is Freddo's official DJ. Yo, I've been popping. I just spent 20 reps out while I was Christmas shopping. You've been window shopping. I used to be into rubbing. She opened up for Jay-Z and Beyonce in their UK dates. Fast like a Lambo. And she just opened up for Drake this year, so she's a massive artist. She's also the co-founder of Press, a PR strategy hub, working alongside artists like Bonkers, Grew up on SN1 and that, Grew up with knives and guns and that, Soul Action, and Koji Radical. Well, if them boys bad, not bad after we. Now I can't lay hands on none of my G's Fucking love Koji If he could get both a Reading, that'd be great My one extra video for him would be amazing Usually in this part of the, uh, in the video I talk about kind of Their most popular views and how many releases they've had But she's a DJ, she hasn't really released anything um, There isn't anything to go out there in terms of view counts She's got a Wicked Boiler Room set video if that's your thing. Santam from the book called XAJ. Man, mystic with a pen like JK. True say, I ain't really a drinker, but I got love for brandy like Ray J. And she's an old school DJ. She just plays other people's jeans. I like that. This is her first time playing Reading and Leeds. She's playing on the one extra stage on the Friday at Reading and the Saturday at Leeds. In between Banco. Banco? In between Banco and Gecko. WTF video, so those are on the way. And this is a super, super short video. I'm really sorry. There's not really. I mean, we can go into depth about the rap show as, as, a, as a conversation topic, but um, I'm not really the person that knows the most about that. And she's a pretty pretty big DJ. So if, if the rap show is your thing, then I would probably recommend checking her set out. But with not a lot of music to talk about, we've got a short episode. Currently, so she's probably clashing with Mini Mansions and No Rome, two artists that the videos I've put out for have serious fans. And I can't believe how many views No Rome's getting. I think it's just overtaken the 1975 to be the most popular who the Artist. So that was a good one to cover, wasn't it? And because of that, I think his score's probably gone up, which unfortunately for Tiffany Calver means that her score's probably gone down. So part of me wants to go and support the DJs because they don't get a lot of love, um, and I think that playing the one extra stage on such a such an early slot is a really a really hard thing to do. So I, I really commend that. But I think when I look at the other artists that are playing, I know who I'd rather go see. So on the likely to see scale, unfortunately, I'm going to go with a two out of ten. What do you think? Are you excited to see her set? Have you seen her perform before? Um, have you listened to her radio show? I've not even listened to it yet. I probably should. Um, I probably should have done that before making this video, really. Sorry. Sorry, Tiffany Calvert. I promise I'll listen next week. I'd love to know what you have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.